Welcome back. This is Nathan Seven Scott, and you're watching the Nathan Seven Scott Experience. We're here with Stanley Bennett Clay, and uh, this time we're going to go a little deeper into, um, I guess, the sexuality aspect of, uh, you know, Stanley's lifestyle and so forth. I want to talk a little bit more about that pretty young thing that you showed us a picture of <laughs> in part one. Oh, okay. um, so you've been together with him for four years. You right. say he's 24 years old. Right. Um, so I'm assuming you guys met when he was 20. Right. But um, it actually, he just turned 21. Okay, it just yeah. turned 21. Right. So we're into four years. Okay, I got you. So now, where did you guys meet? We actually uh, met in the Dominican Republic. Okay. And uh, I was uh, staying down there. I was at a hotel. And uh, one of those small little boutique hotels, and, okay. and I was standing on the balcony and just looking out over the because there was there was a school next door uh -huh. and the little shops and everything, and it, it looked very much like a, a scene out of Teddy Williams. Okay, and I was just standing there and I see him walking down the street. Okay, and I said, "Whoa, this guy is incredible!" So I rushed down the stairs and tried to see where he was going, and it turned out that he was working in a little shop okay. next door to the hotel. So I went in and uh, not being able to really speak Spanish or anything, I okay. said, uh, Pardoname, uh, uh, do we have anything in English? And he says, well, no, no. And <laughs> I sort of stood around looking like a doofus. Okay. And so I left and came back an hour later and said, listen, you know, I just want to tell you, uh, usted es uh, muy bonito. And I think that means you're very pretty. It so does. Uh, and, yeah, and so <laughs> he sort of laughed and, and, uh, and I said, you know, I just wanted to explain to you that the reason I came down before was that I, I really liked you and I just wanted to get to know you. And he said, no. Oh, okay. Uh, and then, so uh, he was he, he was gay. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah openly gay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And and I you know I could I could kind of tell that he was. Okay. And I asked him if I could take him out to dinner that night. And okay. he said, uh, sure. Okay. So we went out to dinner. Um they had a great time and then I asked if I, if I could take him out to dinner the next night. And uh -huh. he said, okay, we, we had a wonderful time then. Okay. And um uh, then um, you know we just we, we were just hanging around each other and it, it, there was a lot of conversation, no sex, no sex, no sex at all. Okay. And uh, I forgot what happened, but somehow uh, there was a situation where I ended up meeting his mother. Oh, and okay. it was really nice. So so I invited his mother to dinner, and so we, we sat around and talked. And, and she spoke only Spanish, okay. but he speaks English and Spanish. So okay. Really, you know because he, uh, his his aunt and uncle own a, a magazine down there. Okay. So um, and he was ed educated in, in English schools, okay. so uh, so he, he knew English very well, and we it just became very very romantic, and then it turned into walking down the streets holding hands and oh, wow. going to the movies and all those sort of things, and and I just knew that this was going to be a lasting relationship, and I'm still not even thinking about the sex thing, okay. even though we were very you know, a lot of kissing and, and that that's sort touching of and petting. The touching and petting and holding each other, and he would even come come to my hotel room and and just you know you know because he was so precious uh -huh. that I didn't want to ruin you know a future thing that, by by just jumping into the sex thing. Oh, okay. And then you know we well uh, the last day that I was there, um, we were, we were he came up to my hotel room. We were just talking and everything, and he just said, uh, "Well, you know, I want to give you something before you leave." Solid. Solid as a rock. And what did he want to give you, Stan? What did he want to give <laughs> you? Well, that that's 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 what it happened. That's what it happened. But he wanted to give you something. Yes. Yes. Yes, you know, so, and, um, <clears throat> but it was a very romantic sort of thing. Some sort of giving. giving. It was a romantic giving. It was, it was, you know, candlelight and things. Or yes, exactly. It was, it, was, it was all that because we, by this time, we were so romantically into each other. Right. Okay, you know, I can understand. That. You know, and the thing is, and and I think that that he he really wanted me to be, the you know, to be more aggressive, uh -huh. and because he was so. Precious, and I didn't want to ruin that situation because I'd already projected that. Well, you know, I'd come back see him again and, and everything, and, and then we were going to be together for years uh -huh. and, and all that. So I said, "There's plenty of time." Okay. You know, because I am a sex owl. You and, are. Oh, and I'm very aggressive. I'm really? extremely aggressive. So it, I was. That's when I knew I was in love. Are you an aggressive top? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Wow. Very, 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 okay. very aggressive. Well, you got a I lot of berries in this. I, I, I don't know what all I that means. I love ass. Oh, okay. I L A. Great. Let me just. I um, mean, you know, I. <laughs> Can you do everything with it? Oh yes. Flip oh, it, grease oh, it up. Oh. Hey, lick it. Lick it. Eat it. Oh. 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 I'm gonna take it off. 
I don't know how to respond to that. I'm getting, I'm getting I'm, goosebumps. No, oh no, I, oh no. I mean, I, you know, there's, there's, there's nothing like, there's nothing like a, an ass on a man. There's nothing like, like an, an ass, ass on a man. You know, and let me tell you because, but you know, it's not when you see a naked ass just laying there and everything. It's especially in the morning. Oh, well, anytime. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking in the morning when the sun peers oh. into the window and you oh. see just a slight shadow just grazing over it. Oh, baby, yeah, yeah. Grazing. But I'm gonna tell you, you know, see, I, I can I can toss salad for hours. Oh, right, with the salad. Yeah. Now, I, 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 I recently heard that you were uh, in in Harlem telling women how to um, suck dick. Well, yeah. What, what was that like? Well, Can you tell us a little bit about the the art of sucking dick? Well, I mean, do I really have to explain this to your audience? There we go. Don't they know? We have a lot of. There's a lot of different people watching oh, okay. this, this show. It's not just. A, well, the thing was that that it just happened that during my book signing for Looker at okay. a humane bookstore, uh -huh. um, there was a woman in the audience who was to say that she was just having some problems, like with her with her man and the whole thing, and. And that, you know, what should she do? Right. And I just happened to say to her, because it was off the top of my head, I said, well, you know, sometimes you got to realize that, um, uh, you know, men do have morning hard arms. Yes. So now if they're there and they're asleep and that, that, that you know, that bad boy is sticking up there, mm -hmm. well, you know, you know, polish that knob, you know. Let While they sleep? Yeah, let him wake up to, let him wake up to that joy. Wow. You know? That's one thing I can honestly say I've never done. Really? I've oh, never okay. had it done to me. I've never actually done it while they were asleep. Well, you wake up, mm -hmm. I'm going to do it, but well, you years, know, while they sleep. Years ago, I was in a relationship with uh, a guy for six years. In fact, we'd actually gotten married like back in the 70s. Okay. Like, before anyone was doing this. Okay. And, um, and, and I used to always wake up with him giving me a blowjob. Nice. You know, it, it was. And I, and I thought, it, and you know, do unto those as, as we have been doing. You know, so, so I, you know, I said, well, that's, that's kind of nice. And I've never known a, a partner who didn't appreciate it. Yeah. Well, you, you know, you know, mm -hmm. so it, it kind of works. And I was, and that's what I was told in that woman. And, and I said, no, no, the one thing, because, you know, I know that women have a tendency to do certain things when they, you know, when they give a blowjob. But, you know, remember three things no teeth, no chewing, and do not. Stick your tongue down that slit. Some people like that. Yeah, but but the average person doesn't. Is it the hetero? Do you think heterosexual men don't? Um, well, I don't know how. You know, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, see, I don't, you I don't, ain't I don't, never sucked the heterosexual because that would make him. Yeah, because see, 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 see my, and my thing is that you know, yeah, I don't, even, I don't even get with bisexuals. Okay. If I know somebody's a bisexual, you can get down and keep on walking. No, no, I, yeah. want, I want a straight out homosexual man. Okay. I'm a homosexual, I want a homosexual. I'm not a bisexual. Gotcha. I'm not a heterosexual. I gotcha. You know, so, you know, I just, I want, you know, I'm same sex totally. Gotcha. You know. Mm -hmm. you know so. Wow. But then at the end of the discussion, just got kind of like a little crazy because then the straight men that were there, they were actually saying, yeah, brother, that's right, you, you talked, so they were doing chiming in, so it just turned into a wonderful free-for-all. Uh -huh. And people started gathering and listening to the conversations, uh -huh. and they sold out all the books. That's hey, what they, they, and, that's know, what, and that was the goal, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I had a good time there. Yeah. Wow. Well, um, I guess that pretty much sums it up. We've talked about tossing salads, we've talked about sucking dick, and I mean, where do you go from there? That about wraps it up for us today with Stanley Bennett Clay. We want to thank him. Be sure to pick up his novel, Looker, at Barnes & Noble or Amazon.com. Thank you once again for joining us today. Thank you, Nathan. That's what this love is.